This video is, is designed to uh, show you how to use SysPrep. SysPrep uh, is an application uh, designed by Microsoft that will help you to uh, customize a computer operating system, I should say to customize uh, Windows so that uh, it can be repackaged uh, and deployed to uh, you know hundreds of users or or large numbers of users and so that you can have uh, a customized and uh, more importantly a identical operating system deployed to all your users so that uh, when it comes to supporting them you will uh, you'll have a good standard platform that's uh, a known quantity or excuse me a known quality in any case, uh, so sysprepping, the first thing you need is to install all of your uh, software drivers and, uh, uh, and uh, excuse me, all of your drivers and all of your software. The first thing to do is you're going to need to install Windows on your box and configure all your drivers. As you can see, that's done here. Uh, also, you're going to want to put uh, all of the shortcuts that you want uh, underneath the all users folder for uh, desktop favorites and that sort of thing. Uh, you can also use um, the local group policy to make some changes there before you sysprep. Uh, lastly, you'll want to install the software that the users are going to need uh, on their machine. So as you can see, we've got lots of different software here. This is not a machine we really deploy, but for demonstration purposes only. Uh, so once you've got all of that set up and you're sure that you have it as you like it, the next thing you're going to do is to break out your Windows uh, XP CD, and you're going to take, um, you're going to go to the support folder, and you're going to extract this uh, deploy cab, and you're going to put it in a folder on your C drive called SysPrep. And this has all the tools that you need to be able to uh, sysprep a computer. So we'll extract them. We're going to put it on C. We're going to put it in a folder called sysprep. Oh. It looks like I had already created one, so we're going to extract it and put all those files there. So um, once that's done, what you're going to do is you're going to want to use the um, system setup on the C drive. Go to sysprep. You're going to want to use uh, excuse me, uh, Setup Manager. And Setup Manager is a program that you can use to create your answer file. So uh, every time you turn on a computer uh, for the first time, a Windows installation for the first time, you get uh, a series of questions you need to answer. You know, what time zone are you in? Um, are you in part of a domain? Um, what is the user's name? Um, what is the machine name? And this sort of thing. So that's what this is designed to help speed up so that you don't need to reboot to change the machine name and, and that sort of thing. So without doing sysprep, uh, you, every time you change a machine name or add a computer to the domain, you have to reboot every time. So it's going to save a lot of time. So we're going to create a new uh, sysprep answer file. We're going to choose, choose sysprep setup. Windows XP Professional. Uh, we are not going to fully automate the installation because we're going to want to type in the information as we need, as we can. Um, we're going to just put some basic information here. We'll go with the default set display settings, the time zone. This is a we'll save a little time by doing this. Pause the video so I can type in my.
All right, so we've got our key code in there. Um, we're going to leave this blank so that we can uh, type in the computer name that matches our naming convention every time we uh, image a machine. Um, we're going to, we, if you wanted to, you can uh, pre-configure your uh, local machine, uh, local admin on your machine here, uh, and you can further encrypt the admin password. So that's usually what we do. So just type in that. You can also choose um, to have an automatic login as an admin. That can save you some time if you do that. So that as you first log in as an admin, you can add the user's name, uh, or the users, I should say, as an admin if you need to do that or if that's part of your environment. Uh, we'll go with the typical TCP IP settings. Uh, we are going to add this to a dom domain, so this is going to save us some time. when we deploy computers. No, that is not our real password. Much more complex than that. Uh, telephony, we don't have modems, but we'll go ahead and type in an area code here just so we don't get prompted that for that later. Uh, we're going to go with standard regional settings. If you were outside of the United States, you'd want to change that, of course. Uh, default language, we'll go with that. Um, printers, this is where you can type in a printer server name and uh, and printer name. So, you know, it would be something like this. Uh, caution against doing this, however, because, um, you know, if you're a large organization, obviously you know, you'll only want certain printers installed and you don't know where these computers are going to end up being. So I, I generally don't do this. Um, next thing we do is we'll do run once. This is a uh, feature where you can add um, scripts or commands to run um, the first time a user logs in. This can be helpful for running uh, scripts or batch files, uh, depending on uh, you know what your needs are. And the same thing here: additional commands and identification strings. You can run those. And in our case, we don't use them. Once you click finish, it's going to save your uh, INF file. You'll notice it's the same path where you extracted uh, that uh, those other um, executable and files. So we'll click OK. All right, so it's saved, and uh, we can click Cancel. So you'll notice that the uh, sysprepinf file is right here. And uh, if you were to open it, you'd see the answers, basically, for all the different things that we uh, entered, including your, uh, you know, your key code, your, your uh, admin password. It would be uh, scrambled there since we checked that. Excuse me, since we checked that uh, scrambled box. All right, so that's done. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run, we're going to run um, sysprep. So after we run sysprep, what's going to happen is it's going to um, allow you to repackage the computer, and when it, it'll give you an opportunity to uh, capture the image. So uh, in our case, what I normally like to do is. Uh, I like to, uh, to to choose the mini setup so that uh, and I'll do a shutdown. So what we do here is once we click reseal, uh, Windows will re will delete all of your profile information and uh, it'll it'll reconfigure Windows back to an unopened state uh, so that uh, when it's next turned on, you'll get a mini setup. Uh, simulating an open box experience. Or, excuse me, it really will be an open box experience. So um, once we click reseal here, it's going to shut the computer down. And once the computer's off, that's what we'll next we'll need to do is uh, plug in an external hard drive 
and get a bootable CD to uh, boot to and then capture the internal image to the external hard drive. You'll, you'll want to be sure to do that before you turn the machine back on. Um, once that's done, you can then let the computer reboot and you'll go through the, res the setup of the computer again and that'll be exactly what your image will look like. Uh, so you want to keep that on a server someplace safe and blow it onto uh, you know tens or hundreds of computers. Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, the next video is going to be um, showing you what mini setup looks like. And um, you know if you have any uh, comments or suggestions on how this process can be done better, uh, I'm open to suggestions. Just put your uh, comments below. Thanks.